Imagine if every time you took a drink of water from the tap, you were playing Russian roulette with your life. Or the streets outside your door were almost knee deep in filth. Well, that's what life was like in the Western world just a century and a half ago. But over the next hundred years, we managed to rid many cities of this waste and disease. So how did we get to be so clean? Well, it took guys like the Maverick Railway Engineer, who lifted a city to build America's first sewers. It's a crazy idea, but it's also kind of a beautiful one. And the doctor, who added potentially lethal chemicals to the water supply of an entire city. These are classic examples of the kind of people who actually made the modern world. People you've probably never heard of. These were the hobbyists, garage inventors, and obsessive tinkerers. Ordinary people doing extraordinary things. The thing about these pioneers is they didn't just make our world a cleaner place. They also set off an amazing chain reaction of ideas. The result were innovations that would affect every aspect of our lives, from the world of high tech to fashion, law and order, all the way to health. I want to show how these seemingly unconnected worlds are linked by the unsung heroes of clean. I'm Steven Johnson. I write about ideas and innovation. This is the untold story of how we got to now. You know, you look around, today's city streets are so clean you could eat your dinner off of them. A city like San Francisco spends $50 million a year spraying and sweeping and generally keeping the streets free of filth. But just a few feet below me, there is a tide of highly toxic waste. This deeply unpleasant river of filth is one of the biggest health issues cities around the world face. To see it requires some serious safety gear. A huge team of people. There we go. Okay. Oh yeah. And nerves of steel. Yep. Ironically, 